What's going on guys? It's Nate in the next video coming up. You're gonna love it. It's a shout out boxing and conditioning hit session that is full of awesome boxing combos, but some hardcore conditioning sets. There's a little more conditioning in this session. You're gonna need a lot of willingness, but you're gonna love it when it's done. Your quads are gonna hate you tomorrow, but mentally you're gonna feel absolutely incredible when it's done. It's an amazing shadow boxing and hit style workout you can do anywhere. Get your shadow boxing gloves on and let's go to work. All right guys, how the workout is formulated. Again, you have one minute sets of hardcore work, a 30 second moderate exercise, and you're gonna do other two or three sets. I mixed it up of each set of exercises. I'm gonna expect you to go as hard as you can for those one minute pieces with control and just flow nice and easy with those 30 second pieces and there's a strong finisher at the end. Don't hold anything back, give it 100% effort. It's quick, but it's tough, but I know you know that. And more importantly, it's gonna give you awesome results in a short period of time. All right, let's get it done, guys. Remember, Nate Bar Elevator is now live. So after this workout, make sure you check that one too. All right, crew, let's get ready for it. You're gonna love this session. Your one minute hit piece, as you can see on the screen. Coming up first is a jab, jab, cross. That's a one, one, two. Jab, jab, cross, it's gonna happen fast. Don't worry about the second exercise. One, one, two, one minute. Get ready for it, go. Jab, jab, cross. Now you see the speed that I'm ripping in this video right here, right now. I want you to outwork me as long as you keep your hands up. Keep your head still, rip that double jab, right hand, add a little head movement at the end of each combo. One, one, two, slip right. One, one, two, dip. One, one, two, move. Duck, slip, it's all you, all right? Let's go, 30 seconds. As you know, once you get into these workouts, they happen real fast. You're gonna love this session though. You're gonna love this session. Keep going, double jab, right hand. 20 seconds. Only 15 to go. It's a little double tap with that forward foot. Make sure you turn the right hip over. Don't forget changing your levels a little bit. You guys are experts now. Double jab right hand. And good. Your 30 second piece is easy footwork with pivots. So pivot off your forward foot. You can look at the screen and see the demo. Keep your hands up. Let's go, 30 seconds. Footwork with pivots. One thing I always like to think about when I'm working with pivots and just footwork is that I always envision where my opponent is in front of me and I'm trying to pivot chest to chest with them, right? So you're gonna think wherever they're turning, wherever they moved, you want your chest to match theirs so that you're not over or under rotating. I mean, if you're trying to get away from them and just kind of create space, you could pivot and move but that's not what we're trying to do here. All right, let's go. One, one, two, add the right uppercut. So now you're working the jab, jab, cross, right uppercut, maximum. One, one, two, six, jab, jab, cross, uppercut, go. So you have two punches in that forward arm and two punches in the rear. One, one, two, six. One, one, two, six. One, one, two, six. And remember that right uppercut Dip the shoulder through and that forearm straight up. So your forearm is pushing that top big middle knuckle through the seal. You're a badass. 30 seconds. Pivot off the back hip a little bit. Look at your target off that uppercut. You can step back to throw the uppercut. You can step forward to throw the uppercut. You can pivot to throw the uppercut. You can pivot off the double jab to your left and then throw the uppercut. It's all you. Less than 10. Don't forget your breathing. Three, two, one. All right, let's go footwork with head movements. You can work some pivots here too, just kind of add it in, but think about moving your head, slipping side to side, pivot, kind of mix it up a little. So head movement, pivots, inside, outside, it's all you. 
walking forward, approaching. You can throw your punches if you want. So maybe you can throw a one, two, stepping, right? Pivots, all good. This session, 10 seconds, is a little more conditioning than boxing. Trust me, you're gonna see that in the next few sets. So enjoy these first couple. All right, good. One, one, two, six, double jab, right hand, right uppercut. Own it. Always remember, you're always controlled, but you're still a savage, right? You are you are strong, athletic, go. Right, this is performance based, so you don't want to slow down. You want to show me how skillful, athletic, and fit you are with every single set. Control your head, release your punches. Pivot the back foot on the right hand and right uppercut. Step with the double jab, less than 30 seconds. I am not staying in one place. I am moving with every combination, planting and then ripping those punches. Stepping back with the right uppercut, why not? Pivoting left, pivoting right with the uppercut. Again, why not? Less than 10 seconds, guys. Keep it up. Keep going, ladies. I know you guys are terrorizers too. Two, one, and rest. Next set coming up. Your one minute piece is a split lunge jack. You can look up at the screen and see that. And you're gonna do one foot at a time for that. So you're gonna do 30 30s and then a squat knee drive. So you're gonna start with one foot forward. Let's start with your Right foot forward first, and then it's a small step, and then split lunge. Tap, 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 right? And then bring those hands up above your head. You can clap your hands behind your back if you want. It's a short step to the top, a little further step to the back. So that right knee is going closer to the floor than your left. You should be outworking me here. Now switch lead feet so your left foot goes forward and go for it. Keep it up. Ten seconds. The first round of these bad boys, it's all right, it's not so bad. The second one, game changer. Third one, goddamn. Two, one, good. Now squat knee drive, so just squat, drive the knee up into the chest, stay low the whole time so you don't go all the way to the top, just go close to that. Keep your hands up above your chest. Right knee up, left knee up, small squat. Spread the floor with your feet as you hit the floor with your foot. Flex your quads and butt. And do it again, 10 seconds. And let's go. You know what to do. Split lunge jacks. One minute. Short step, long step. Short step, long step. All right. Three, two, one. Pick a foot. Forward. There you go. So my right foot is forward first. And get it. Now you'll notice I'm going a little faster this set. So I want you to, again, outwork me. I'm working a little faster. I'm gonna push you a little harder. I thought you weren't moving as fast last set. I could feel that. 40 seconds. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, right? Find your tempo and own it. Switch lead feet. Switch lead feet and get it.
Come on, guys. Ten seconds. Faster than me. Don't you dare slow down. Two, one. Amazing squat. Knee drive. You don't need to see it on screen. You know what it is. Go for it, right? Now double that up. It's a double squat knee drive. So the same side, do it twice. Squat one, squat two, squat one, squat two, squat one, squat two. Again, just change that a little bit because why the hell not? 12, 11, 10 seconds. By the way, this room was 30 degrees. This is a hot yoga studio. It was hot as hell in this room. Good work. All right, now it gets serious. Single arm sprawl. We're going to be working the right side and the left side. Take a look at your screen. It's going to happen fast. Let's work your right arm first. Single arm sprawl. And then bring it back up all the way to the top. Hit the floor and go again. Get ready. So get ready for your right knuckle first. Make sure you have saddle boxing gloves on. Drop the knuckles to the floor. Go. Right to the top. Kick, kick. Back. Sprawl. Back. Stand. Sprawl, back, stand. Sprawl, back, stand. That's your rhythm. Forty seconds, crew. Keep it up. Single arm sprawl, right hand. Savagery. Keep it up. Thirty seconds. Nah, you're not slowing down. Nah, you're not stopping. Get that thought out of your head and give me 20 more seconds. Get that fist through the floor. Kick those legs back. Come on, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Right to the end. Come on, hear the bell. Come on, give me one more. Yeah, it was hard as hell, but you got it. Freestyle shadow boxing. Let your hands go. 30 seconds easy. The objective with this one, even if you don't know boxing, throw jabs and crosses. Who cares? It's just about you moving around. Okay, go. 30 seconds. It's about you moving around and just letting your hands go with tired legs. Sometimes these are the toughest pieces because mentally... You're gassed out and you have to just will yourself to move at a slower control pace. So what I want you to think about is when you're here, is you're too good to be tired. You're too good to slow down. You're too good to break your form. You still have work to do, right? So the empowerment is in constant moving here and preparation for your next set, which is happening right now. Left hand, sprawl, and then add in a forward hop, all right? Sprawl, make contact, and then get forward. And then back, you ready? Left hand, go. Kick it, forward, down, forward. There you go. Down, kick, forward. Down, kick, forward. That's it. Get after it. Remember, as soon as you push play on this workout, you commit it to it. And when you start crushing this session out, your fitness will elevate. 30 seconds. Your mental toughness, as you already know, will be different. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Nice. Good. Let's go. Freestyle boxing. 30 seconds. So here, when you don't need to see it. You know what to do. When you're back here freestyling, just remember, change it up a little bit. If you feel like you're throwing a lot of jabs, last set, maybe move with your footwork a little more. Throw some hooks in. Throw some uppercuts. Work on your pivots that you worked in your first 30 seconds set. Work on defense. And if I were elevated, I will be building a badass 
series, 20 minute heavy bag workout series, an elevated portion. The whole series will be elevated after BoxCon season two, which comes out soon, all right? Single arm sprawl, right side. Get after it again. If you had to look at the screen, check it out. So yeah, you're probably tired right now, but again, mental before physical, you feel me? Go. Kick it, step forward, back. Yeah, there you go. You get that nice hop in there. It's just a little extra energy to get those legs forward and back after that single arm sprawl. And bringing those hands back to that defensive position. So believe it or not, it teaches you to bring your hands back while moving. Okay, so it's a little unorthodox, but it works. Fifteen seconds. Breathe in a rhythm. Move with intention. Get fitter by the minute. Three, two, one. Freestyle boxing. Here, let's go. Now again, make your freestyle boxing nice and easy. Take it all in, just let your hands go. Relax, there's nothing hard about it. After this one, you're gonna get a one minute break. After this, you're gonna do one more set of these single arm sprawls to make sure you even it out. And then you'll get into your little finisher. Flying. Five seconds. You guys are amazing, but you know that. I tell you all the time. All right, let's take a one minute break. And then throughout this break, just know that you have to once again, amp up your intensity or amp up your motivation to get through this single arm sprawl with a forward step. And that's a one minute maximum piece. Freestyle shadow boxing. One more time. And then we'll get into your finisher. Remember, crew, if you haven't checked out Nate Bauer Elevated, trust me, there's some amazing sessions on there. Elevated Heavy Bay Hit. BoxCon 2.0, there's virtual shadow boxing, beginner shadow boxing, and competitive shadow boxing workout series, savage audio workouts, and I'm also building two to 300 boxing combinations. Those are gonna be available soon too, so we're lighting things up over there. All right, let's get ready for it, guys. Left arm, go. Forward and back, sprawl it. Get it. In and out. Last one minute round of these. And then you'll finish strong to get in this 20 minutes. Remember, you had a long break before this set kicked in, so you should be a little more rested. So when I ask you to push 3% more, which is what I just did, 30 seconds, that's what you got to do. Give me a little faster speed, a little stronger through your shoulder. A little more through your core. Pull yourself back to the top a little cleaner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. All right, so again, let your hands go. Freestyle boxing, nice and easy. If you want to go for it here and throw, you know, punches and bunches and just let your hands go as your last shadow boxing freestyle round, of course, go for it. But my thing is here, what I would prefer for you to do is just give yourself a scenario, working from the outside, inside, inside, outside, you know, jabs, crosses, hooks, head movement, move around a little bit as you get your last freestyle piece in because we have a finisher coming up that you're definitely going to have to work hard mentally and physically to get through, but that's why you're here to get the most out of this session. Go work crew. All right, coming up next, I need you to finish strong. So right here, focus on what has to be done. As you get a slight break before we go through it, you're gonna be doing a combination here, which is a one, two, three, two, and then two tuck jumps essentially is what we're gonna be doing. 
your combination would be a one, two, three, two, two jump squats by 10 without stopping. We're going in five, four, get ready guys, come on, focus with me. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, two, two tuck jumps. Get up in the air. One, two, three, two, two high tuck jumps, knees to chest. Get up. You know boxing is all about power, speed, endurance. It's all there. So this is the last round of the championship fight. And you need this round to win. Do not hold back. Get it done. You work how I work. Come on. One, two, three, two. Two tuck jumps. My legs are hammered here too. Doesn't matter. Get after it. Come on, just a couple more crew. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Awesome job. You guys are animals. Lift your head up. Walk over to that screen. Give me a fist bump. Awesome workout, guys. I hope you loved that session. Again, a lot of conditioning in that session, but it's all about giving you guys some different variations of your standard workouts, having some fun with it. Those single arm sprawls were killer, and those jump squats at the ends destroyed my legs. Congratulations for getting it done. I know you guys are amazing. You always, always come through. Remember, Nate Bauer Elevated is now live. I am now completing BoxCon 2.0 season number two. The ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout series, the elevated version will be coming up after that. So if you haven't seen NateBauerElevated.com, make sure you hit that one up. Here's the latest playlist. If you haven't subscribed, guys, please hit that subscribe button so you can see the newest updates and videos released. Hit the notifications tab. And of course, guys, I'll see you for the next workout. Good job getting it done.